paint on him, so it's like all black and red, and it comes down, the start of his mouth, the start of the thing's mouth is here, and it comes down and he paints it onto his chest. It's awesome. And his yeah. entrance, like, it's just super dark and, like, really metal, and... That's I'll, cool. I'll see if I can pull up a picture for you. Um, but yeah, you'll really appreciate it. They, the guys they have down there just go. That's um, cool. That's cool, you, kid. You'll, like I said, oh, here it is, by the way. This is the paint he does for the... Oh, yeah, that's That's neat. sweet, right? Yeah. Um... They interviewed him after the first one he did, the first pay-per-view he was a part of. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, um, the Ascension was in the corner with me, and they were, they were beating me down, and we had a rest hold real fast, and one of the guys goes, holy shit, dude, that's sweet, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> and he's like, oh. And he looked at the guy, and the, the guy, the bigger guy had to stop from laughing, because he looked at him and went, you obviously don't much, watch much, much wrestling in Japan, do you? Because it was a regular thing for him there. There is, um, what the fuck channel is that? I don't even remember what channel it is now, but they're showing New Japan Wrestling. Really? And I don't remember what the hell channel it is on. I don't know if it's on Access or yep. one of those upper channels, <clears throat> but they show New Japan Wrestling every week, but they're, they're it's like one match, oh. and it's like an hour long. They don't have these middle piddly ass fucking yeah. two second matches. Their matches last forever. Yep. Well, because it's more about the wrestling than the entertainment. Phenomenal matches. You, the matches and the moves are just crazy. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, the main event of that takeover yeah. match. And um, Finn Balor against uh, Adrian Neville. Right. The, and the girls match, you'll love those. It's like, it really is like, these. if these guys were on the main roster and they let them have these right. matches, <coughs> you'd be like... Maybe if I have time tomorrow, I'll watch them. Yeah. Because the, we're supposed the to get match another fucking snowstorm. Yep. Unfortunately, because the the match quality itself, is, like I can't stress it enough, is amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I watch. I have an easier time watching that than I do Raw. I was reading something the other day that fucking Hogan's getting ready to come back. He's fucking training. Really? Yeah. After fast, they said either at fast lane or after fast lane. Thing. He might even they might squash the Cena Rusev thing early, and try and uh, push him against Cena. Yeah. Or Rusev. Or Rusev. Either way. Have him fight Rusev at WrestleMania. Yep. I could see it. Unfortunately. Yeah. So Cena. how much sense would it make? Well, too? they're they're saying right now that Cena's eye injury. They're not too sure. Well, that's fake. They came out and said that on Bleacher Report at least. Yeah, well, then I read something the other day that it was that it was a real injury that really they don't know if he's gonna be able to go against. You what? never know. You never fucking know. No, because they put out so much fake shit. I was like, shit. okay, where, when did he get that black eye? Where the hell did that black eye come yeah, from? Yeah, it had to be from a house show. Or, honestly, they even could have painted I that say on. Nikki Bella fucking punched him in the face. Or um, when he was filming that movie. The really shitty one that that's see, coming did out, you see but that? LeBron James is I, in I, it. I put the fucking clip up on our Facebook yeah. page. Just the How screen. How embarrassing sh- would that be for you, pal? You know oh, what's really Dawn. funny? The girl John Cena's having sex with, Dolph Ziggler used to date. Really? She's yeah. a comedian. She was just, she used to be on some. Uh, I think it was Comic Last Standing. Yeah. Actually, I think she won the fucking thing. Yeah, she actually in her set on one of the episodes, she talked about how she dated Dolph Ziggler. She's like, yeah, I used to date a pro wrestler. I had to dump him, though, because uh, the sex was too athletic for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Maybe that's why she had John Cena in there. Yeah. He, he doesn't do as many moves. No. So, he's just got the five <laughs> basic ones. Oh, my thighs. My thigh. Oh, I'm done! <laughs> <laughs> oh. It, that, see, it looks funny, but it's one of those movies I'm just going to be like, yeah, I can wait for you to come out on Netflix. Yeah. That's... Not gonna spend money on you. I didn't know he did that movie. And actually, you brought up the Big Show a little while ago. He uh, he got himself into some trouble the other day. Doing he what? Complete this uh, he was in his bus, and they were parked outside of something. Like for the night sleeping before a house show, and the guy came out, 
And the guy, like, this security guy came out and was like, hey, just so you guys know, like, there's a no sleeping policy here. Like, you can't park the bus here for the night. And I guess Big Show came out and ripped him a new one. And the guy went to all the local radio stations with it and <laughs> started talking about how Big Show, like, cussed him out. And... Hi. He's just sleeping. Guy was just doing his job. Ah, fuck him. Guy's probably got a nice warm bed to go home to. Big Show's got a fucking bus. Yeah, but it's probably a like, place to park it. It's probably like a multi-million dollar bus More than worth likely. like... Because he'd have to have it all customized inside so yeah. fucking, it would fit him. For his giant... And the bed like, for him and all the bed for his cock. That's right. <laughs> you, know how, his wife. you know how hard that is to have a bed just for your penis? That's... Uh, it's rough. I'll never know that problem. Another one for two balls. <laughs> two... Three, four up. beds, Cut one for each ball. Alpha and Sika. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. With his bush, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's horrible. Big show bush. Yeah, big show. Well, it's the big bush. Wow, oh, this is a slow wrestling week. <laughs> it, it is. We're talking about big show bush. Yeah, that's uh, pretty bad. It is. Um, So my boy Cesaro, his Twitter got hacked today. Really? It was pretty awesome. The guy admitted to hacking his Twitter. He's like, um... He, he was like, this is bullshit. Um, first I get taken away from the real Americans when I was starting to get hot, and now Kid and I don't even get a title shot? I'm fucking tired of Vince McMahon. It kept going on. It was like, old man needs to get cancer and die, and fucking hate uh, WWE. Um... God, I hacked. Somebody hacked me. Yeah. Um. <coughs> so he was a he was a, and then at the end he's like, okay, I'm gonna give this back to Cesaro now. Cesaro, your password's the same, just with a one at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That's. I've so, never been hacked. Either. Well. Not yet, anyways. I know you had issues. Yeah, just two weeks ago. Luckily, not by social media. I haven't got sacked by social hacked sacked, ha yeah, by social media yet. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we all have access to your social media yeah, you via do. Facebook. Yeah, but uh, do. that's all right. We don't we don't do anything bad. I mean, if I ever had nudes of you in an yeah. NXT diva, I definitely wouldn't go crazy and post them. If you had nudes of me in an NXT diva, I'd allow you to post them. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, <laughs> this is me. I did this. <laughs> this this one right here. Have you have you looked up the girl that he got caught with yet? With all her tattoos and stuff. I've seen the, the She's pictures. So but they're, sexy. They're, they're blocked, blocked. Blocked out the titty and the butt cheeks or whatever. It's she's so sexy though. Who is she? Just a girl in NXT. So was it his um? It was his ex fiance. Yeah. She she admitted to it. Yeah. <sighs> She almost you know, cost what? him his job. They debated firing him. Yeah. He's probably not going to get pushed anymore. They're going to end his, uh, his thing, his money in the bank thing like they did Sandow. And you'll never hear from him again. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets crushed. For the, when he goes to cash in, right? Yeah. Which who knows when he's going to cash in now. Because from what <coughs> I heard, the, the thing was they were going to have him cash in at Mania. He was going to lose still, but they were going to have him cash in at least. Yeah, they could have him do that tonight. Just fucking make him get rid of the belt and then just draw. No, because they would have done that last week too, when it came out. Wait, it came out after Raw. No, it came out before Raw. I saw it before Raw. Did it? Yeah. God, I'm so fucking tired tonight. Because then JBL kind of made a joke about it, and I'm sure he got bitched at for that. JBL made another comment about some sci-fi thing again, and I forgot the hell what it was. Did he? Yeah, I forgot to write it down. Damn. JBL's kind of weird. Remember, he makes a lot of sci-fi geek references lately. Like, on. old movies and, like, sci-fi references yeah. are JBL's thing, and money. Jamie Lannister's something. Yeah, he's always mentioned in Game of Thrones. Yeah, he must be a huge Game of Thrones. I think he, somebody made a Walking Dead reference. Oh, um, Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Said it, yeah. Speaking of The Walking Dead, I freaking missed last night's episode. That's, I haven't watched it either. That and The Talking Dead. 
Which I both have. I've both been recorded. I, I have recorded too. I might fucking just pull it all night and watch them tonight. Yeah. We're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow, so I may have to take the woman to work. Uh, I hope I don't have school because of the snowstorm. Kind of have some work to catch up on. Yeah. Be pretty convenient though, because I only have a three day work week this week. But I got yeah. paid for today because it was a holiday. So how do you feel about Tyrese biting it? I was actually, I was sad, but it was a cool way to kill him off, though. I really liked what they did, bringing back all the old characters. I, I talked to a few and, people, and a few people were like, I didn't like that episode. I'm like... That was the it, coolest it, it was, way they've killed anyone off. It was his all. mind and everything. Yeah, was, it, like, showed him going crazy yeah. as he got bit. Yeah. Showed his mind heating up. The thing, the back and forth with the governor and the other guy, though. Yeah. From, uh, what's it... Uh, Gareth's clan. Yeah. I thought that was like the coolest thing they've done. I like how they brought back the little girls and they brought yeah. back. The... <clears throat> um, Beth has got a new job. Does she? Yes, she's gonna be a super villain on Flash. She's gonna be somebody's nemesis on Flash. Oh. Yeah. It was originally a guy and that I... they decided to make into a girl, and she's gonna be that character. Okay. So obviously, The Walking Dead's got their son. Yeah. See, I I don't know enough about Flash, and I haven't gotten into it. That it's one show, of those... I gave it a shot, and I liked it, mm -hmm. and it's actually surprisingly really good. It's one of those things where I'm trying to limit how many shows I'm watching, because yeah, I don't want to get what ha what happens to you all the time. You're like, yeah, I'm watching like 16 shows. Yeah, right now. Like, you know, I kind of cut it down. I, I still watch Supernatural. Obviously. <laughs> Which I'm waiting. I, I, I wait twenty the, years invested into it already. I'm waiting. I wait for the season to be done now, and then I just watch it all at once. <laughs> the last, can I tell you about the last, Well, I'll just tell you about the end. Just I'll tell, tell you me a about little, it. little bit of. Just tell me about it, because um, Dean ends up turning into younger Dean. So that younger, he, Dean? yeah, he, like seventeen-year-old Dean again. No, like uh, puberty Dean. Oh, jeez. And comes back and finds Sam, and uh, they they're going out to try and find whoever. But at, when he's that age, his music changes and what he likes for music. So at the very end, they both, when he gets back to his normal size, they get into the car and uh, Dean turns on the radio and uh, Taylor Swift, the oh. Taylor Swift songs play in uh, <laughs> the blank Shake speech. It Up or whatever. Oh, yeah. And they both look at each other and go, shrug their shoulders and just, <laughs> <laughs> that song's playing all the way down the road. Rather than... Uh... What you call they use their classic crap that they usually yeah. listen to. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. It, it was a funny episode. That's awesome. And I missed last week's episode because my DVR completely shit the bit. You have to tell me when it's uh, when the season's done because you know how I watch it. I literally will just go through and yeah. I binge watch the season in like three days. Yeah. I hate. That's the thing. I I get invested in a show and I can't stand waiting the week. That's what I hate about the, the Walking Dead. I hate. For... Yeah, it's I like... hate waiting, but then. When it's over, I'm like, what the fuck? It's like when we would watch watch Lost. You'd watch it and be like, oh, this is awesome. Still my favorite show. Up until the and last And they have season. added... Um, More people to the... The Chinese dude. Yeah. What the hell's his name? Um, oh, uh, uh, Sun. Sun. They added Sun now. So they must be doing a Walking Dead reunion and a Lost reunion. Yeah. Gotta be something yeah. like that. Two thousand dollars for a ticket. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure the I'm sure those general admission tickets go fast, and I haven't even yeah. done my taxes yet. I did mine. Um, I'm waiting for fucking Super Mega Fest to wake up and start. I'm not committing to something fucking relevant. I'm not committing to Super Mega Fest until they add more than Chris Jericho. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I need more people to be there. It's supposed to be a good convention. It's supposed to be a large convention. But they're not really bringing anybody relevant of this day and age. They just fucking added chips. Eric Estrada and fucking his Poncherello guy that was with him. 80s and 70s TV like, shows. Uh, at least bring in some fucking wrestlers. Look, that's all I'm asking for. Bring in wrestlers. some wrestlers. That's pretty much why I'm going. Because I need autographs. On shirts that we buy. Yes. <laughs> Actually, B got that nice Stone Cold figure, the Hall of Fame one. Yeah, he That did. was really nice. He sent me the picture of that the other night. Yeah, he actually called me and said, hey, they have all these fucking new figures up here. Which one should I get? I'm like, 
I don't know. You figure it out. Stone Cold always sells. Stone Cold's the. Since there was a Stone Cold, there was a Rusev figure. The Rusev figure is a new one, but with the Rusev, they also have the. Um, new